In this video, I'll be demonstrating a sequencer program I've written for the Arduino with SparkFun MIDI Shield. First, a little about my setup here. I've got the MPC-1000 generating master clock for all the instruments. My master keyboard sends notes to the MPC, which are routed through the Bitstream 3X, the Arduino, and finally the virus up top. I'll get started by resetting the Arduino. And then I'll turn Bypass on by holding D3 and pressing D4. I can now play notes on the virus normally. You can see that both SysX and MIDI continuous control data are being passed from the bitstream to the virus. I'll turn bypass off now and show the arpeggiating sequencer mode. I start it with D2, the green LED flashes every fourth step, and select a sequencer pattern with the left knob. Playing some keys gives the sequence some notes to start playing. I can adjust the note length with the right knob. If I hold D4, the function of the knobs changes. Now the right knob adjusts how much of the sequence to loop. The left knob adjusts the tempo. The sequencer can be run in three trigger modes, changed by holding D3 and turning the right knob. All the way to the left is the normal free run mode, which is the default. In the middle is note gate mode, during which the sequencer runs normally, but is muted unless some notes are being held. All the way to the right is note retrigger mode, yeah, I'll just set a more active sequence here. Now, in addition to being muted with no notes held, the sequence is restarted when a new set of notes is pressed. Now, I'll change the trigger mode back uh, to normal, free run mode, and show the sequencer synced to the master clock. Now what's different here is that holding the D4 button and turning the left knob now controls the step length rather than the tempo. That can be set all the way from dotted eighth notes to 32nd notes on its shortest set. I'll set it back to 16th for now and reset the master clock. The trigger modes can also be used to gate the sequence. The next thing I'll show is the looping recorder. To engage this, I simply turn the left knob, not holding any buttons, all the way to the left. When I start the sequence, no notes are being played. I haven't recorded any yet. So to start recording, I hold D3 and press D2. Any notes I play are now added to the sequence and looped. I can also overdub more notes, or erase them by holding D4 as the sequence plays. If I turn recording off, I can now transpose the sequence based on the lowest note recorded, simply by playing another note on the keyboard.
While the sequence is playing, all other MIDI data gets passed through, so I can select a different MIDI channel and play additional instruments without separate MIDI merge hardware. That's a quick introduction to some of the features provided by the sequencer. Uh, thanks for watching.